Good morning, dreamers. I'm standing like this because I want you to see my shirt. Yeah. When we need free mom kicking the pants. <laughs> like when our alarm goes off and we don't get up. There are moments like that for all of us. And there are times when we just need to be told you're doing it, rah rah. We need the cheerleader, but then there's times when we need the coach too. Come on, improve this way, improve that way. You've got this, but moms are amazing people. As we head into Mother's Day weekend, I challenge us. A friend of uh, of mine yesterday, we were discussing how Mother's Day is uh, such a horrible day for some people. For my single friends that have never had <clears throat> A relationship that has brought them children they ache they're in pain because they've never had a baby I have so many friends that have lost wee ones along the way and I have nieces and nephews in the arms of Jesus instead of the in the arms of my amazing brother and sisters and it doesn't matter how many years go by, that pain is still there. And Mother's Day stinks. Outright stinks. But then my friend yesterday was reminding me, sometimes it's not about looking at me, the mother. It's not about me and my kids. It's about if we all stop to honor our mother. Because we've all been birthed in some way. And we can find pain wherever we look for it, because pain is part of this crazy world. So some people have mothers that were just life, uh, life support machines. And they were raised somehow, some other way, grandparent stranger that became a parent. Some people have estranged mothers. They never seem to get along. They can never be good enough. Some people are blessed beyond measure because their mother is godly and takes them to Jesus every day. I could not honor my mother enough. She stops and listens and she listens with her whole being. She makes you feel like you're the only person in her world. And when you're bragging on your own kids, she cheers right along with you. And when you're ragging on your own kids, she cries right along with you. So sit down as you head to this weekend. And let's not make it about us and our motherhood, but let's look at our mothers, whether biological, adopted, spiritual. Because my mom is a mom to way more than just Elizabeth, Jonathan, and Marilyn. She's a spiritual mother to so many. And I have an amazing mama who I grew up in a church that she attended and she had no biological kids. And so she, I'm one of the several she adopted. She's an amazing woman that is so selfless and will defend her kids and her grandkids to the wall. Sacrificial, doesn't have a lot of extra, but man, if you need something, it's there. In a heartbeat, it's there. And my kids call her Grandria because she's their grandmother. She just is. So whether you're getting or giving, <laughs> mom hugs or mom kicking the pants, sit down and take stock. 
that the Creator God is Ima God as well, Mother God. And she gave us life. So let's sit in with the Spirit and just connect with her over the weekend in some way, shape, or form. And in so doing, honor our own mother persons, our own mother human beings, whomever they are, however they are to you. Maybe they're a wonderful auntie. Maybe they're an amazing sister that has led the way. Whomever that looks like, even if they're not a biological having birth pain you out, mother, there's somebody out there that has sacrificed for you. So let's honor her today. Let's let our spirit connect with Ima God's spirit, Mother God. And let's have a good weekend celebrating mothers, celebrating women, celebrating sisters, regardless of your personal mother state. I know this time of the year hurts a lot of people, and I have friends that have the tears very close to the surface. Tears because of words left unsaid when a mother has graduated to the next season of eternity, but man, don't go back. Don't, don't, don't live in guilt, live in honor. We can't go back and change what's happened, but we can move forward and honor because they've given the world a very, very beautiful gift, dreamers. They gave the world you and you're worth it and you're valuable. You are and you're supposed to be here. Your mama did not make a mistake by bringing you into the world. So I honor your mom simply because you're here. And remember, if you need one, I got one. Okay? Sweet dreams. Today's a good day. So have a good day. Bye.